men of access these ones are people who have influence they are gatekeepers of industries Who's, who speaks at the gates about you matters see let me tell you there is this foolishness among believers that they believe that just because God let me tell you this sincerely please hear me not every enemy is castable just think about what I'm saying there are enemies that are gatekeepers and their position is honored even by God you cannot cast them when God wants you to pass through that gate he will make them to show you favor the Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord he makes even his enemies there are gatekeepers a Cyrus can reject you he does not honor God but you are rejected how do you cast Caesar how do you cast Herod so he granted favor and when Joseph of Arimathea requested for the body of Jesus they allowed it not every man you can just pray and say let him leave that place let me tell you there are men that would not go there because their stewardship is a covenant they are not even there because of what they did they are sitting on another covenant that God's integrity must protect although they are unbelievers Ishmael today remains there to the heart of God in spite of his pungency against the gospel because he will always remember Abraham my covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that is gone from my mouth in a desert land yet they are prosperous because God is a covenant keeping God so when you see people sitting down and you are praying and praying and they are not leaving find out their grandfather who loved God arranged something for them with God forget that they are rebelling while they are there their children will pay for it but for that time no your prayer meets a covenant that God has vowed to honor and you'll find out that you are praying spiritual prayers that are not producing results what I tell you is called spiritual intelligence it's true. these are the kinds that you need favor influence did you not notice that God did not have to remove Pharaoh for Joseph he just caused Pharaoh to love Joseph notice that all through the lifetime of that Pharaoh they were allowed to serve their God and Pharaoh gave him he, he, the wife of the priest Potiphera the priest of On as a wife to a man who's another God somewhere and he still gave him as a wife and in, in the land of Goshen the people can't it was when there was another Pharaoh who knew not Joseph that was when their oppression started so even in a land that does not seem to favor you governmentally you can reign favor men of access please don't reject men of access in your life it's not simplicity you will be punished again and again for that ignorance hallelujah number three the third category of destiny helpers are called gifted people gifted people these are people who are an asset to you every pastor needs these people every father needs these people they are the people that make work easy they are the errands and the horse you need gifted people they must be sent by God you will see a big church of 5,000 people and only one person is trying to learn how to play the keyboard you need to cry for gifted people are we together gifted people I have seen personally precious great anointed men and women of God but no support systems no gifted people there are families that don't have gifted people every house help is a thief every house help is a robber everybody is a I mean you there has to be a skilled person gifted people I'm saying this so that when you are praying you can ask in prayer Lord send me gifted people make my life easy you have a business because of scarcity you, you hire a receptionist who continues to drive good people from your life hello is this so 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 person's office why are you here please if you are don't you know who gave you the address and person, I'm sorry and he leaves you are inside there doing CEO and your company is failing 
you need to pray for gifted people no man exists as an island gifted i pray this prayer all the time and i tell you sincerely and i i i, I stand broken before god to appreciate him for giving me and giving this ministry the treasure of gifted people the workers in this ministry are exceptionally gifted people has saved me the stress of any other thing i focus on the ministry of prayer and the word please you need gifted people in your life otherwise life will be hard you can't do everything by yourself hallelujah gifted people the day your wife is giving birth that's the day the quack doctor is on duty you, you see what is happening the day your child is sick that's the day your serious doctor wants to give an injection and he experiments around your child to make him like Mephibosheth the midwife that threw Mephibosheth she was called a midwife what happened that she threw the guy down do you know the kind of fall you have to throw a child to break the legs and scatter the child? Lord, send me gifted people in the name of Jesus Christ. And the last of all, very quickly, they are called burden bearers. The last of the destiny helpers are called burden bearers. During the, your down times in life, you must pray that God will send you people who don't love you because of the throne. They love you because of who you are. The flat tree of success can kill. People can clap when there is a crown on your head. But when you are at the cross, you will need burden bearers. And Jesus was on his way to Golgotha, the Bible records. And he was, he was bleeding and that he was losing blood and was about to die. He would have died there. And if he died there, there would be a problem because he needed to die a curse, not just to die a man. Curse is the man that hangs upon the tree, he says, that the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So if he died on the way, that's not redemption, that's obituary. And then they called on a burden bearer called Simon of Cyrene. The black man, the nigger, and he, the guy gladly carried the cross. Let me tell you, I pray that you will find people in your life that even when you stand like David in the cave of Adullam, the Bible says mighty men, they came to David. They saw him hiding and they said, you will become our king. It's not everybody that is looking for results. There are people who will stay with you. As the landlord is driving you, they will stand there and say, no, I will not run away. Men are selfish by design. Please, every leader, hear me. You need to trust God for the grace for real burden bearers. Men and women who can cry with you. They can say Hosanna, but when you're on your way to the cross, you will only see Mary and John there. Burden bearers. There are men of God when they are, we start building project, everybody just runs away. When the building is completed, people come and dance again to acknowledge God. Burden bearers. Even the disciples ran away. But there was a woman who said, let me risk my life. I'm on my way to the tomb to go and purify his body. I hope you know that was why she went. She carried to go and purify his body. What if she died on the way? A burden bearer will be like Ruth to Naomi your God will be my God and your people will be my people many people when they are in their dark days they never find helpers who will not celebrate with you when things are going well but you must pray for burden bearers there is an attack on the church and someone is standing to say pastor I love you I will stand by you all the way are we together I'm brother still from your house and someone comes and says is there food for the next two weeks i will be cooking for you don't tell anybody i have to stay here i hear you want to buy back another car please my salary of two months is yours don't say there are no people like that there are real burden bearers 
it takes prayer and spiritual understanding listen these are the forces that work in the life of others and while you are seeing these things happen there are burden bearers again i thank god for the privilege you know many men of god for many men of god their greatest fear in fact many successful people their greatest fear is whether they will have people stand by them when things go bad I tell you God has taken that fear out of my life God has given me not only trusted people not only gifted people not everybody old but there are people God has put in my life that I know if they put a gun today they will stand and take that bullet Lord you took my pain away and then you gave me joy you're my peace my melody in the center of the storm you gave me a brand new song to sing to you that's why i will lift up my voice you've taken the pain and the sorrow away you've given me peace on the night there's no need to cry cause you're always with me you're my father my everything listen you must pray to god and cry that there be burden bearers will look at your wound listen listen Please sit down. We'll pray shortly. Listen. The Bible talks. Jesus himself was teaching. And Jesus spoke about a man. And robbers were laid that man. Are we together? And he was on the... A priest came. And a priest saw him and left. Going to church. A Pharisee came and left him. But there was a man called Good Samaritan. No name. Good Samaritan. He was identified by where he was coming from, his territory, and his character. Good Samaritan. And the man sat down. He bandaged this man, took him to a private inn to keep him, and said, I will take care of him. I'm about to go and do something. When I come back, whatever the cost is, that's a burden bearer. That's not an advisor. There are people who will come and see your child your daughter your son and look at things work as ah, what is this you mean he has been writing wired for five years i will conduct a personal tutorial when you see a burden bearer you think they charm them they will carry your own load on their own head you are planning for marriage and you find a burden bearer you have entered the Sabbath. the person may not be a millionaire he will be collecting hundred thousand and depositing sixty thousand. Say, this is my contribution. There are real body bearers. Not everyone on earth is wicked. You have just been meeting wicked people because you have been allowing life choose for you. You select your possibilities in prayer. This ministry, by the grace of God, has been privileged to have body bearers, men and women who arise by the Spirit financial burden bearers credibility burden bearers there are people today across several nations of the world some of them are listening to me right now they have taken it as a mandate but i've never met them taking it as a mandate to ensure that the teachings that come from this ministry get to the ends of the earth there are all kinds of social media platforms that is all they do as if god did not call them themselves burden bearers It is painful to be alone it is painful to be alone there are many parents today who have raised all kinds of children they had just five or six of their own children but they raised up to 50 children of other people and these people in old age will be in the hospital are we together now looking for one million for a treatment and all those 40 people they raised not one person 
can stand up to be responsible to say no i remember history i will never allow mama die like this some of them will have private hospitals some of them will have schools you need a burden bearer in your life a burden bearer in your life i've had the privilege by the grace of god in my own capacity to be a burden bearer to certain people and i'm happy doing it a burden bearer will go all out to turn your cry into weeping that's his assignment to insist till you laugh why are you about to go away so i'm in 200 level my father just died my mother just died they don't sit down and say are you from the same village that's not a burden bearer is your what was your father did he know my father mm. i stand and i say this come every semester receive this school fees for give me your account number i will be putting 10 10 000 until you graduate and when you are about to graduate let me know so that i will ensure that you have a job now do you have a job you are doing well sir this is the wife i want to marry oh really do you have an auditorium we are trusting god because how much do you have hundred thousand take one million go and pay for another talk that's a burden bearer there are churches that have had the privilege of burden bearers that's why they don't announce we have a project of you know god designed men to be burden bearers this crying on stage for money every week no a real burden bearer will sit down and find needs why is this pastor's shoe removing that shoe would the pastor would never wear that shoe again had this shoe no no it was embarrassing next time you go and buy ah, we noticed that this child was crying and nobody could buy bobo next week there's a carton of bobo for children that's a burden bearer and may you be a burden bearer too because it it is wicked for you to want a burden bearer in your life and not want to be that for another you have to sow that seed of being a burden bearer may your wife be your burden bearer husband and may your husband may, may what's the next one now may your husband be a burden bearer wife be, because listen let me tell you if your spouse is not a burden bearer you will see what will happen the day you are in the hospital you've seen these things happen some persons are in the hospital some people are selling their property hoping that they will die and then they later come and leave is is when they are alive they now find out that half of the estate had gone in expectation that you would die is that a spouse this is why we will continue by the spirit of god listen to me let me just digress for 10 seconds this is why we will continue to guide people you know sometimes people make very very poor marital choices carelessly these are the things to think about father is this person a body bearer not for now for the days that come there are women whose husbands are confined on the wheelchair and you will see them celebrating their birthday 60 years with the man he can't talk he can't walk yet she's laughing they say say something about your husband say even if we return in this life i want him to still be my husband that's a burden bearer my generation hear me open your eyes and your spirit and your understanding and not make a catastrophic mistake that would destroy your life burden bearers In my life, I have seen...